Today, in Minecraft, we spend 100 days in this city as Spider-Man. The police force needs our help cleaning up the streets, so that's what we're gonna do. 100 days as Spider-Man in Minecraft, here's what happened. Alright, so here we go, it's day one and I spawned inside this little house. Okay, don't know whose house it is, but I guess it's mine. I grabbed some leather armor that was on that stand and then looked inside this wardrobe where I found some stone tools and some other materials. I realized the windows of the bedroom were actually doors and I could go outside, but then I went downstairs, realized I had an absolutely gigantic TV, so I began to like this place. Saw that I had a nice garden and wanted to see what was inside the kitchen. It was food. Happy days, I don't have to go get my own resources regarding food. I took some chicken sandwiches, went outside and chopped down some trees because that's how you Minecraft. You, you, you chop down trees, people, know what I'm saying? Anyway, then I dug down underground because I wanted to go mining. If I'm going to become Spider-Man, I am going to need a lot of materials. So eventually I found a little ravine and began mining, got myself some iron and some other resources. Basically, I spent the whole day mining. You've got to do it in Minecraft, people. Oh yeah, and then this snake came at me. He didn't last very long, though. Alright, so it was into day two, and day two started off with, of course, a delicious and sumptuous chicken sandwich. I got to work, made myself a little crafting table, headed downstairs and decided that this little room was going to be my main base of operations. So I went ahead and made some furnaces because I had to smelt all of the iron that I had just got. And then I realized in this resource pack these furnaces looked like ovens. I actually like it. It looks pretty cool. Hey everybody, check it out. I've got an actual real life oven in Minecraft. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked here. Anyway, I made myself some iron armor and of course upgraded all my tools to iron, so it was going pretty well. Day two, full iron armor and tools. Happy days, mayonnaise. Anyway, I decided to head on out, head to the city and take a look around. I ended up, well, in this food area beside KFC and Burger King and of course McDonald's. Oh, I'd love a Big Mac right now. But all I had was my chicken sandwiches. I went down the street, found a hardware store which actually had all iron tools. No, sorry, diamond tools, I should say. But I had no money, so I couldn't buy them. And then I noticed this place, a science lab. Oh, hey there, lab people. Um, I I'm interested in science, I, I think. I was just wondering what you guys actually do in here. Oh, well, hello there, sir. We actually experiment on radioactive spiders. It's very interesting indeed. Ooh, okay, radioactive spiders. Um, do you mind if I take a look around? Uh, well, this is a secure facility, but, um, I suppose. Just be quick and don't touch anything. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so after talking to that cool scientist man, I decided to take a look around this place. Downstairs was pretty cool, but I wasn't really finding anything interesting. Ow. I was just getting electrocuted by fences. Yeah, okay. So I decided to go upstairs and take a look. This place looked a little more secure and there was a lot of scientists around. Oh yeah, and this happened. Hey, get away from that. Don't touch that door. Oh, oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, so basically I got given out to by one of the scientists, so I decided I needed to hightail out of there. Uh, there was some sort of a crazy spider. I mean, was it a radioactive spider? Was this going to be the situation that turned me into Spider-Man? I think it was, so I decided to wait till nightfall and get to work. So I made myself a crafting table and of course turned my planks into sticks so I could make ladders. This was going to be a robbery, people. Yes, I'm going to break into the science lab. I mean, I'm trying to be a good guy here, but here I am, like, breaking into secure facilities and I'm, like, being a bad boy. Okay, I, I've got to go check out that spider, people, all right? Anyway, I broke the glass in the roof, got down, placed my ladders, and snuck around to see if I could get in and take a look at this spider inside this chamber. I wasn't really sure what I was looking for or doing, but I got in, and I was hoping that this dude would, like, turn me into Spider-Man somehow, but nothing happened. Um, yeah, I just kind of stood here and looked at it. But, I mean, I wasn't going to give up that easily, so I left and had a look around. There was some scientists left over, and I did have to sneak around the place, but there was one room that had a spider in it. I had to get over and check it out. I went in, 
and he was gone. He disappeared. Oh, oh no, he, he's right there. Okay, yeah. And the thing attacked me. It bit me, and something happened. Did you guys see that? I think I now had spidey senses. This spider was on the loose, and it was destroying me. I had to escape. I did, but I was so much faster. And check this out. I take no fall damage. Did I just get superhero powers? Okay, I think I did. <laughs> yes, this is absolutely epic. So anyway, I made my way back home, realized that I was super fast and was taking no fall damage, but I think I had to get to work on getting a Spider-Man suit. All right, so we were into day four, and like I said, I did have to start working on getting a suit. Now, I know that down there in my little mine that I made, I wasn't really finding any of the ores that I needed. I needed to find specific and special ores in the Legends mod to be able to make the Spider-Man suit. So, yeah, I decided I needed to go mining. I took a look at what I actually needed to build. I needed to build this suit machine maker thing. I can't, what was it called? Suit assembly thing? Yeah, basically I need a lot of black iron, loads of different materials, a crazy amount of stuff, so I had to go mining. I found this little area that had vibranium ores right at the top, and I was thinking, well, that's pretty rare, so maybe this could be a good location to start. I then found myself some tin and some coal, and I also realized that I had vein mining, which is pretty epic, and then I got down deeper. I met these guys. I had no idea who they were. I mean, there was like serpent dudes and robbers and all sorts of crazy mobs, but I was able to take them out, get down into this mine and start finding lots of random ores. This was going to be a long, long task of mining as much stuff as I could. Oh yeah, and trying not to die in the process. But I mean, I had my spider senses, so I felt kind of safe. So I got to it. I start mining, mining more. I kept on mining until I thought I had enough stuff to get a start on making this suit assembly machine. Dude, it took me so long. I mean, look how much mining I'm doing right now. Okay, okay, I can't give out too much because eventually I did find an abundance of glorious and beautiful diamonds. I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than finding diamonds in Minecraft. It's just the best day ever. Anyway, I got the diamonds, I got other ores, I was happy. So on the morning of day 11, I got back home, went inside and start smelting all of the ores that I had just mined. And yes, check it out people, there are a lot in there. I had to make myself some new furnaces and I also started making some diamond tools and of course a full set of diamond armor. I had to protect myself people, I didn't know what this place was going to be capable of. And it looks as if I was right to do so, because just outside there were these guys. These guys were for the nether, and I had no idea how they got up here, especially this dude. He absolutely destroyed me. Check it out, he got me down to three hearts, I just had to bounce. I had to get out of there, the dude nearly killed me. That would have been a disaster. Anyway, I got in, start using some of that black iron to create black iron blocks. I made some high-tech kind of plate things, I made some redstone repeaters. Basically, components for this superhero suit machine. And the next day, on day 13, I headed to the beach. No, not to chill out and just have fun. I, I needed to get some sand. Yeah, so I, I literally went to the beach to mine sand. Yo, bro, why are you taking the sand, man? Um, uh, I, 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 I just, I just need to, I'll only take a little bit. Sorry, dude. Yeah, check out that dude. He, he gave out to me for taking sand. Oh man, and there was a party going on, I mean, oh, I was missing so much fun. Anyway, I got back, start making more of the components so I could make this machine. And I think I finally had everything I needed. Well, no, I needed to make a monitor thing, and that needed a crazy amount of resources too. Bro, it was taking so long to make this thing, it was insane. I needed these light components, a different type of ores, and it was just a totally long process. But of course, I kept on going, people. I kept on working, and I was able to make the components that I needed. Well, make almost all of the components. I mean, I did have to go to this random park and find some cactus so I could make some green dye. Why is green dye so difficult to get in Minecraft? I mean, if you're not in a desert, it's a nightmare. You've no idea how long it took me to find that playground that actually had cactus. And by the way, can we talk about why a playground had a cactus? Surely that's dangerous. 
Okay, I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, check it out. I made it. I actually got the superhero suit assembly unit thing majig. I mean, yes. Haha. <laughs> we were on the way to making the Spider-Man suit. Uh, but, but then I realized this thing needs to be powered up with a generator. And yes, this generator needed a crazy amount of components. Oh, dude, I had to make more electronics, of course. I also had to make these little fans, which was kind of cool. And then I had to set out on a long journey to go and find snow. Yep, yeah, that's right. I could make ice by using snowballs and buckets of water. Because that's one of the components. I had to do that nine times to make um, compact ice. Um, is that what it's called? No, just packed ice, yeah. And eventually I was able to make these things. I had to make a well, like a cooling unit and then an engine and uh, lots of stuff. But eventually I did do it, people. There she was, the generator. So many resources, but this thing was going to power the most important machine of my 100 days, and here it is. We turned it on, the suit assembly unit. We scrolled down, we found Spider-Man... And realize that, yes, of course, we do need a lot of stuff to build it, but we were well on our way. So we rolled into day 18, and I decided to make my house a little bit bigger because I needed somewhere to put this machine that it didn't look so cramped. So here it was. I made it a little extra space, and I think it looked kind of nice. I was happy with it. I mean, that's that's all I did that day, but I, I don't build that much. Yeah, okay. Anyway, into day 19, and the next couple of days were actually pretty hilarious. Yeah, you'll see in a minute, but anyway, I started off by going back into the machine, checking out Spider-Man, and seeing what actual materials we did need. It seemed like we needed a lot of this fabric. It was actually pretty easy, though. I just needed a lot of wool, although the radioactive fabric, yeah, that was going to be a different story. We were going to have to find more of those spiders, but I knew exactly where to get wool. And it was from this guy. He owned a local petting farm zoo kind of a thing. And basically, I asked him if I could go in and take a look around. Little did he know I was literally just going to steal all of the wool from all of his sheep. So yeah, that's what I did. I got in here with all the sheep, got myself a shears, and I went to town. Yeah, I start shearing every single one of these sheep, and oh man, they they, they had no wool left. I, I absolutely destroyed the place. I mean, check it out. Full stack of wool. Boom, that was easy. So yeah, I made some string and kept the other remaining wool. I also dyed some and start making the fabrics. Started off by making some red fabric, and then I went ahead and just made some white fabric. This was actually pretty easy. I was super happy I knew where all that wool was. But I had to go back, because I needed leather. So, uh, yeah, this was a bit more risky because I actually had to kill the cows. Um, yeah, nobody nobody tell anyone I did this, okay? Yeah, so swiftly moving on, I made that letter into red stained leather and realized that I need some black ink. But the squids weren't dropping any. They just dropped me little pieces of squid. So I found this flower shop that had black roses and they did, in fact, give me the black dye I needed. I had to thank these guys. I mean, they were so nice for letting me take the uh, roses. Ah, guys, I just... Borrowed some black roses. Um, I hope you don't mind. Um, you know what? H here you go. H have a chicken sandwich. Yep, you, you, you guys deserve it. All right, see you later. Everybody loves chicken sandwiches, guys. I mean, come on. That was a really nice thing to do for those people. Anyway, I went back, made some more stuff that I could, and then started checking what I had. I had done pretty well. I had a lot of stuff, but I did need more. I needed a Spider-Man logo and more of this radioactive stuff. I mean, a lot more. I was going to need radioactive silk. Interesting. So it was on day 22 where I decided to go back to the lab to see if there were more of these radioactive spiders. And there were. There were a lot more. This was a good area for me to get these spiders. Yes, I had to break back into this place, which was pretty bad. But I mean, look at all these dudes. There are so many of them. I had to get in there and try kill them all to get all of that radioactive silk. It was a risky move because I jumped in and these guys were insane. But I was able to bash them and keep going and not die, which was a good thing. I got a couple of pieces of silk this time. Not as many that I actually needed, but I had a few. As you can see, I was going to have to do this over a couple of nights. So I waited outside pretty much all day, waited till nightfall, and then got back in to try and kill more of these spiders. Thankfully, there were more spiders when I got back there, and basically I just had to repeat this process night after night until I had all of the silk. These scientists were coming up with these spiders somehow. I didn't know, but I didn't care because it was super easy for me. 
I mean, I was getting the silk, and that's all I cared about. Come to think of it, I have no idea how I didn't get caught. I mean, they should have realized that every night I was sneaking in, killing all the spiders, and getting the silk. Okay, anyway, yeah, I went ahead and made the Spider-Man logo and more of the uh, radioactive fabric stuff that I needed, and I put all of the stuff that I had away. I'm pretty sure I had what I needed, but then... Taking a closer look, I realized I actually needed web shooters. Okay, more components, more things to find, and more stuff to make. I had a lot of the stuff already, but I did need to find slime balls. Where am I gonna find slime balls? I was thinking I might have to go to the nether. I don't know why I thought that, but basically I went out into the wilderness once more, away from the city, and decided to go ahead and get myself some obsidian. Now, I have vein mining, so I literally had to mine one block, and I got 54 obsidian. Haha, <laughs> epic. Oh yeah, I got back into the city beside my house, and then this happened. A meteor came crashing down from the sky, hit the road right beside my house. I had to go take a look. It was symbiotes, my spidey said to start tingling, I was having none of that, so I decided to just make the portal, open it up, and that was an end of my few days. Yeah, so days 27 and 28 were kind of crazy. I did come across this lab and I got word that there may actually be slimes inside. So again, yeah, I broke into another lab. This is kind of becoming a recurring theme. Anyway, I got inside this place but was not seeing any slimes. It was pretty big and then there they were. They were inside some sort of force field enclosure. I mean, I had no idea how to get into this thing. It was super weird and super strong. But after taking a look around, I did, in fact, find the remote. It was sitting right here. It was some sort of controller that I could turn on and off this force field. It was pretty sweet. So I turned it off, and next thing you know, there were slimes charging at me. But I had my diamond sword, so it was pretty easy to take all of these guys out, and I did get an abundance of slimes. So happy days, another little task complete. So I got back home and got to work making these web shooters. I used all of the materials, got myself some cartridges, and then was able to go ahead and make a piston to then make a sticky piston. <sighs> Finally, I had all the stuff I needed to go ahead and make them, and I did. I got web shooters, but it never told me that I needed to make two. Oh, I had to do that all again. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so I said at the start of the last couple of days that they were crazy, but I actually meant days 29 and 30. I mean, what's happening here? Some sort of crazy portal just opened up and all of these insane dudes start flooding into my overworld. They were trying to kill me, I didn't have a Spider-Man suit, and I was completely outnumbered. This was a crazy night. I had to just battle away, basically staying inside my house and not venturing out, because I would have been destroyed. I mean, as it was, these dudes made bits of my diamond armor and it was not good. Eventually, I did go mining again because I needed more diamonds to get my armor back up. I vein mined, and eventually, again, I did find more diamonds. But man, it took time. I mean, those guys were insane. They were everywhere, and they absolutely ripped me to shreds. I really needed to make this Spider-Man suit as quick as I could. Oh, bro, it was intense. I mean, so insane. But eventually, I got the diamonds that I needed, made more diamond armor after all those guys destroyed my last set. Whew, this is tough. Okay, so like I just said, I need this suit badly. I just made new armor, and I needed to go to the nether. So before I went in, I decided to make myself a little enchanting table. Now, I wasn't going to spend a lot of time making bookshelves, but I decided to just enchant what I had, just to give me an extra little bit of protection when I went to the nether. I mean, it is super dangerous in there, and I didn't have a superhero suit, so... I needed every little bit of protection that I could get. I enchanted my armor, and I enchanted some of the weapons that I had, and I was ready to go in. Well, I mean, I say I was ready to go in. I wasn't really. I'm never ready to go in here. It terrifies me. Look at this dude. I mean, he was outside trying to kill me. Can you imagine what's going to be inside waiting for me? Oh, bro. Okay, but it was time. I went in... And straight away, I was attacked by crazy fools coming out of nowhere. But what happened, I could not believe. This dude came at me, I killed him, and somehow got myself an orange gem. Bro, 
I did it. I had the orange gem and I was only in here about 30 seconds. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I had everything I needed to craft this suit. But wait, my current balance was 6,000 on the skill points and I needed 7,000. Ah, come on, people. Give me a break. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, dude. Okay, it wasn't going to take me that long to go ahead and get another thousand points. But in the meantime, I made myself an anvil so I could go ahead and repair my diamond armor once more. As you can see, those guys absolutely shred through diamond armor. I was only in there for a couple of minutes and I mean they nearly took it all out. I had to go back in and start killing more and more of these things to get my points up. But eventually my balance was 7000. It was time people. I took off my suit. I was getting ready. I was about to get the Spider-Man suit. Dude, I was so excited. I went back downstairs. I went to the machine. I had everything in my inventory. It was time to craft. What? Okay, something happened. My screen has gone black. Yeah, so it turned out I had a conflicting mod and I wasn't able to see with the suit on. I, I panicked big time, but I was able to fix it. In the meantime, I made a display case and put the suit away. Because tomorrow, I was going to put this thing on and truly become Spider-Man. But on day 39, the time had finally come. It felt like an eternity, but I woke up excited, had some steak, and headed downstairs. There it was, my very own Spider-Man suit. I put it on, I was able to see, and I actually was your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Woohoo! This was gonna be so good! I headed outside, and there was one of those crazy spitting zombies I was able to take him out with ease. And then I start using my web shooters. I mean, I was new to this. I had to do a little bit of practice. So, pretty much, that's what I spent the day doing. Practicing with these new web shooters. But then I also had to make myself a portable modular device. A lot of materials was needed again, but I made it pretty easily. This thing was going to show me how I could rank up and unlock more and more powers that Spider-Man had. I was only on rank 1, and you could get all the way to rank 6. I was obviously going to have to get a lot of skill points, but it could be done. I could not wait to start unlocking more and more of Spider-Man's abilities. It was going to be insane. But like I said, I had to practice. I mean, it looked unbelievably cool, but it was actually kind of hard to control. I eventually realized I could also climb walls, so this was an easy way to get up super high. I mean, this was going to be insane. I had 60 days left as Spider-Man and I could not wait. Yeah, and on day 40, the action began. I got outside and start using my new fire web shooter. This thing was absolutely insane. I got down, destroyed this skeleton super quick and then set my eyes on this gigantic zombie. I took him out with ease. I truly was a superhero. And it looks as if my skills were needed straight away. I climbed to the top of this building right beside my house and my spidey senses start tingling. There was something going on at this gas station across the street. So I went over and took a look. And it turns out the place was getting robbed. Some punk had gone in here with a gun and was trying to steal the money from the register. So I took him out with ease once more. Haha, <laughs> no match for Spider-Man. You're welcome, dude. I saved that guy a lot of money. Actually... I should probably go ask if I could get a reward. No, that's not what superheroes do. Anyway, I went and got my portable modular device open once more and realized I had just gained some skill points because of it. I was now up to rank two. I had combat. I was a better fighter. So the action was gonna start coming thick and fast now that I was a fully fledged superhero here in my Minecraft city. I got to work basically being the best superhero I could be. I had to practice this whole web slinging thing. I mean, it was pretty difficult, but I think in the end, I got the hang of it. I mean, yeah, I did spend a couple of days on this and I did make a couple of mistakes, but I was ready to go. So I decided to head on in to the police station to see if I could be of any use. I wanted to see if they needed my help. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to the sergeant. And then I saw this. There was a missing poster. Some kid, Freddy. He's been missing a while and the police had absolutely no leads. I had to talk to the sergeant. Yeah, the last place he was seen was uh, by a railway in some sort of a green area. That's all the information we've got. We can't find this kid, Spider-Man. If you can find him, that would be amazing. Okay, so it seems like I have a brand new mission. 
I've got to go and find this kid. I mean, it seemed like the police weren't doing a very good job, but I mean, I'm a hero. This should be pretty easy for me. So I went around and asked some people, and nobody knew anything. Okay, gotta be honest, that did not go very well. I thought it was going to be a little easier. I got home and then realized that my superhero suit was, was damaged. It was damaged a lot. I was going to have to make a suit repairs unit. And again, there was going to be a lot of work involved in this. So I had to go ahead and spend a couple of days mining more materials and getting everything I needed to make this machine. If my suit broke, it would be an absolute disaster. I mean, I'd have no special abilities and I'd have to make it all again. So I think making this repair unit was a good choice. It did take time, but like everything, I mean, if you want something good, you're going to have to work hard for it. So that's what I did. Eventually, I got everything I needed and I was able to make the suit repair unit. So I had it. I put it down beside my other machines, beside the generator so it could get powered up. And I was able to go ahead and fix my suit. It cost me 140 tokens, but I had a lot, so it was all G. I now had a fully restored suit, which was awesome. So I headed back into the city to see if I could find this kid. I did pass this huge building, Oscorp. Never knew what went on in there, but I'm sure I'm going to find out later on. Eventually, I did help the police stop another crime in the city. This guy was trying to steal a pharmacy. Can you believe it? But... I was able to catch him, so it was pretty good. I used my web-slinging thing to web him up, and he basically couldn't get anywhere. Inside the pharmacy, there was a lot of eyes of Ender, and I just kind of told the guys in there that I was just going to take a lend of them. Yeah, I, I lied. I basically stole them all. Wait, I stopped a crime and then committed a crime. Anyway, then I met this guy, and I think he had a lead. Yeah, this is it. This is where I was sleeping rough. And uh, this is where I saw that kid. He could be around here somewhere. So yeah, this guy brought me to an area that was green and it was by a railway track and that fit the police description. Eventually, my spidey senses went off and I did find a secret hatch. It looks as if I had found the Joker's lair. Okay, this is getting kind of strange. I went in and a trap door nearly set me down into a pit of lava. This place was really weird and super dangerous. I kept on going in to see what I could find. Was the Joker going to pop out? What was going to happen? Again, there was another trap. This time a pit of piranhas. Whoo, you do not want to be falling in there. And then I opened this curtain and a load of the Joker's goons came out with guns and tried to take me out. But I was able to web them up and destroy every single last one of them. Right at the end of the track was the missing kid. He had been kidnapped by all of the Joker's goons. I couldn't believe it. But I got in there and I saved him. It was Freddy. Happy days, mission complete. I was a hero. So anyway, into the second half of my 100 days, and I decided to go and talk to the police chief to see if I could help some more. Well, Spider-Man, it's good to have you on board. But we've got a big problem. The Mushroom Gang. That's right, we have a gang in the city who are terrorizing everyone, and we need you to stop them. We've tried everything, but we're unsuccessful. Are you up for the task? Of course I was up for the task. So later that night, I went out and I did in fact find a couple of these mushroom gang people hanging around causing trouble. I noticed that they drove, well, BMW cars and these really suspicious black vans. Yeah, so I got a call a couple of nights later saying that there was a disturbance at a local club. I had to get down there and check it out. And what do you know, the mushroom gang were there holding the place up. So I decided to get in and take them all out. It was pretty easy, and to be honest, it was kind of awesome, because I got to party with everyone afterwards. I mean, the DJ was absolutely buzzing. This place was hopping, and everybody loved me because I was Spider-Man. Haha, <laughs> what a night. Yeah, boy. Okay, but I had to get back to work. These mushroom gang guys were terrorizing the city, and again, a couple of nights later, I caught a few up to no good. Then, during the day, they actually hit a YouTube HQ. I had to get down there and take these guys out. They were terrorizing the city, but one by one, I was taking them out. And then, I decided I need to find their main base of operations. So, one night, I caught a guy trying to rob a jewelry store. I actually let him rob it, and he led me back to their main HQ. So, I knew where they were hanging out. I knew where their boss was going to be. So, I had to infiltrate this place and take out the main guy. So, that's what I did. 
I swooped in and started absolutely shredding these guys. They did not stand a chance. I mean, they're just tugs. I am Spider-Man. <laughs> I was able to take them all out and get into their main base. I mean, they had stolen property, they had guns, they had a lot of bad stuff, but I was able to get to the top and take them out with ease once more. And there he was, the main boss guy. I webbed him up, he couldn't go anywhere, and he was caught. Another mission complete. Oh yeah, and I found some C4, so I decided to blow up their base. <laughs> yeah, okay, the real Spider-Man probably wouldn't have done this, but I mean, I wanted to have some fun. <laughs> I absolutely destroyed that place. <laughs> but it was another mission complete. I got the leader of the Mushroom Gang and cleared up the streets. The chief was super happy with me. Oh man, it was so good. And just like that, I had ranked up so much. Look how much skill points I got for finding that kid and for taking down the Mushroom Gang. So I was able to use the skill points to rank up. And every time I ranked up, I unlocked a new ability. I mean, I had backflip kicks and everything. Look at that thing. That was crazy. So I got to rank 5 and rank 5 was this like sideward like slash kick thing. That was pretty cool, but not as cool as this. Rank 6 gave me a web barrage. Look at this thing. Oh man, it was so good. So now that I had these new abilities, I had to test them out. It was on day 69 and 70 that I found this superhero training facility. I was able to get in and get to work. I jumped around the place and basically got better at my whole agility movement situation and then I started testing out all of my different type of web shooters. I mean that one was super good, it shot out a big balloon of webs that would trap any opponents. I had the web barrage too which was probably my favourite. And then I found this place, it was like a training simulator system that basically there were bad guys I had to get in and basically take them all out and save other people. It was kind of cool and I got some more skill points in the meantime. But my training was over and I was ready for some more hardcore action. And that's when this happened. It looks as if it was the Green Goblin. He came out of Oscorp. And he had his flying hoverboard thing, so this was not good. I mean, this was a little bit different. This was a super villain. I was going to have to be fully prepared if I was going to take out this guy. I mean, he was just flying around, throwing grenades or bombs or whatever it was, just destroying the city. He was just terrorizing civilians. He even went to the police station and started throwing bombs at all the squad cars. I needed to get down there, and I needed to stop this guy. So I had to get my suit repaired once more. I put it into the repair unit. It cost me 300, but I was ready to go. My suit was fully restored. I was down in the city by the police station. So I had to swoop in and take on my foe. It was Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin. Woohoo! We had a proper boss battle on our hands. So I went in straight away, landed a blow and realized it didn't do much damage. But I was able to start using my web abilities and I was able to slow this guy down big time. My web barrage was able to push him back and I was winning the battle. It actually turned out to be pretty easy. Yeah, so that cop was super happy with me, and I was super happy with myself. I headed home, and I actually realized after taking out all of the bad guys, I had a new blueprint for a new suit. It looks as if I was able to learn and unlock the homecoming Spider-Man suit. Oh my days, this was definitely my favorite Spider-Man movie, and I was going to be able to get the superhero suit from that actual movie. But of course, I needed to get some materials in order before I do. But thankfully, I pretty much had everything I needed already. I made the logo once more, got the gems, and I had all of the materials. But unfortunately, I did not have enough points to create it. I had to go ahead and kill some more things. And I was thinking, maybe I'll get a lot of points for killing the Ender Dragon. So on days 89 to 94, I went on the mission to try get to the end and kill the Ender Dragon. So I used the Eyes of Ender that I took from that pharmacy and I set out to see if I could find this place. 
Now, you guys may have realized this isn't your standard Minecraft map. This city is a bit crazy, and where the location was for the actual end portal was no different. I found this place. It was like some sort of cemetery thing with crazy ghosts. Okay, don't make me explain this. I have no idea, but I got in here, took out a few of the ghosts, and eventually found the portal. I mean, I've cut this down a lot. This took me a while to find. Eventually I did, and I actually had enough eyes to open it straight away. It looks as if we were going to the end to take on the Ender Dragon as Spider-Man. Woohoo, okay. All right, this is getting real. I was super excited, so I just jumped straight in, and it was time. Spider-Man versus the Ender Dragon. It was super easy, because I could just climb up the towers and actually take out all of the end crystals super handily. And I was also able to use this bow. I mean, I had them all taken out within a couple of minutes. But the fight did not last a couple of minutes. It took forever. The Ender Dragon would not come down. I literally had to wait in the center till it flew by and then take out a couple of little blows each time. It took me days. I mean, I could not hit this guy with any of my shots. I had to just wait till he swooped down and take each moment as it came, knocking back his health, small little piece by piece. But eventually, he came down and I hit him with the final shot. Ha <laughs> ha! I just defeated the Ender Dragon as Spider-Man. So epic. It rained down all of that delicious XP and of course I got more points. So now I was going to be able to get the new suit. Oh yeah, and I took a little souvenir home with me too. The Ender Dragon Egg. I put it on my roof. I know it looks ridiculous up there, but whatever. I got it. I'm happy. So I got out all of the materials I needed and it was now time to make the homecoming suit. My second Spider-Man suit. I wasn't planning this, but I was super happy that it was about to happen. This suit, I heard, was so awesome. So with everything in my inventory and all the points, I got to work crafting. Uh, basically, I just pressed the button and I got the suit. <laughs> Check this thing out. It has like a Tony Stark looking vision kind of a crazy thing. Oh man, I could not wait to use this thing. I was so happy and we still had five days to go. So we did get into the final days and I was so ready to put this suit on and get into some action. I mean, I just felt super futuristic and pretty much invincible in this thing. It was so good. So I just decided to head on out and see if I could find any bad guys. And straight away I found some weird zombies and I was able to take them out super easily with my new electrified web shooting thing. Oh man, I was having so much fun. I was just swinging from building to building, see if I can find anything going on in this city. It was crazy how good this was. Oh yeah, and it also had this glider system on it like Elytra Wings. So, so good, man. I was having the time of my life. And speaking of having the time of my life, I ended up at this pool party. I mean, I, I can't fight crime all the time. I've got to have a bit of fun, you know what I'm saying? But I did have to test out my skills again. This werewolf was annoying me, so I took him out. And of course, this Enderman as well. He didn't stand a chance. I mean, I'm Spider-Man. Oh yeah, so good. But I did get a call to the Pentagon a couple of days later. Seemed like there was something going down and I was basically summoned to some sort of emergency meeting of some high-end generals. Yeah, it was all a bit full on, but I got into the Pentagon and went into this secure room where they were having the meeting. Turns out it was kind of about me and about a new villain. It was the Vulture. Turns out that they heard that he was planning on something. He was planning on coming and stealing something from the Pentagon. And before we knew it, he was actually outside, placing down TNT and exploding the doors to a secure location. Oh my days, this was like a movie. It was crazy. The vulture broke into some sort of vault and stole the hoverboard that the green goblin was using. He then turned it into wings for himself. This was kind of cool. No, I mean, no. I mean, he's a bad guy. It's not cool. It was cool. I mean, look how cool that looks. Oh, yes. But that did not change the fact that he just stole something from a secure location and was planning on doing something seriously bad in the city. So, as a superhero, I had to go and find him. And a few days later, I got led here. It was the port. 
Wasn't really sure what the vulture was up to, but somebody saw him here. And then I found him. He was standing on top of this ship. It's as if he was waiting for me. It was the final battle. Spider-Man versus the Vulture. We were about to go toe to toe. He starts shooting crazy bombs at me straight away, but I was able to land a couple of good shots. And then I start using all my web abilities, and not before long, I was hitting this guy with backflip kicks, somersaults, everything. It was so good. I was changing up my weapons and hitting with everything I had. Let's be honest, I was never going to lose this battle. I'm Spider-Man. I am absolutely epic. Probably the best superhero there is. Let me know down in the comments below if you think Spider-Man is the best superhero. With the final blow, Vulture was down and my 100 days was complete. Well, this is day 99, but technically... Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. I just took out another supervillain. It was so good. My 100 days was a rip-roaring success, and man, did I have a good time. Two epic Spider-Man suits, two supervillains defeated, and the Ender Dragon. It could not have gone any better. Guys, smash a like rating on this one. Let me know down in the comments again what you want to see next. But these 100 days of superheroes are so good. I love making them. Hope you love watching. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.